Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with my end of year, the best of kind of series. And so I actually had this sort of set up into two categories and I'm actually kind of dividing it into three at this point. So to start off, just to go ahead and get this one out of the way, my best concealer of 2022 is a Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. I've used it how many times it's been in a video. I can't even count at this point, but it's a really good um, concealer and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. And so that's probably the product I've used most in most videos. So uh, yeah, that's a definite winner in my book. As far as going ahead and starting out with um, foundations and uh, drugstore foundations, I would have to say the two that I've used most have been the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop and the OMA by Sharon C. Pretty Fresh, you can get at Ulta or on the ColourPop website. And the OMA by Sharon C is available in Walmart. And these are the two that I've used the most out of everything. And um, when I'm looking for full coverage, this is what I'm grabbing for. Um, as far as going ahead and looking at um, tints, the Pretty Fresh Tint by ColourPop and the Tower 28 Tint, um, these are both lighter coverage. And when I'm grabbing for something, um, you know, just like to go and run around in uh, and do errands and that kind of thing. These are what I tend to be grabbing. And then as far as going ahead and looking at the high end, and this is where it got a little bit confusing, was that um, LYS is actually uh, sold in Sephora and really their high drugstore to um, they just uh, don't exactly have the same price, but um, yeah, but they're sold at Sephora. So um, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin is another one, and the MAC Studio Radiance. These are my three high-end uh, products that I just, if I'm reaching for a high-end product, it's going to be one of these three. And um I'm liking all of the formulas here. They all have some, well, these two have some skincare in them. This one doesn't necessarily, but uh, these are, yeah, these are what I'm going to reach for on a regular basis. As far as bronzer, there was a lot that came out this year. And everybody remembers the uh, beautiful skin by Charlotte Tilbury and how this sold out over everywhere and I consider it a putty bronzer um, as far as high-end bronzer it's gonna be my pick for this year and as far as going ahead and doing a drugstore pick it's gonna be the color pop and I have the shade get sandy it's also a putty bronzer um, but these two have been the probably um, the best and the longest wearing that I've had. And um, so as far as this formula of putty, which is newer to me, um, these are the two that I've really loved this year. So yeah, definitely would think that those two would have it. Um, as far as highlighter, Flexitarian by ColourPop is always my favorite. And it just will probably always be my favorite. Um, I did use a couple of other ones this year. The Undone Beauty has a really good uh, highlighter palette. And it's called the Nonzer. It's this palette. It's really pretty. You can get Undone over at Ulta. And uh, you usually have to order it online. But this is definitely one of my favorites for this year. So... As far as the rest, give me one moment and I'll be right back with that. Okay, so back again and then definitely not in order, but um, as far as my primers this year, the L'Oreal Lumi, Lumi Glotion 
and the Milani Peach. Uh, this is a glass skin primer. These two have definitely been my favorite this year. And as far as an all-over face palette, um, the Dream Team by Physicians Formula, I think, um, for me anyway, just ended up being the palette that if I'm if I'm taking a trip, this is what I'm taking because it has so much in it and I can just take this one palette and get it all done. So that's uh, what I think was the best there. Um, as far as liquid blushes in the high-end area, has to go to Sherwood Tilbury and um, the Magic Wands. Um, this one's Peach Gasm and the highlighter, and then I also have the pink gasm as well. And these are just beautiful, easy to use. You can't really mess them up, so I like them a lot. Um, as far as liquid from the drugstore, I'm going to have to go with the She Glam uh, liquid uh, blushes that came out this year because they were just, they're very affordable. You can get them on the Sheen website and they just worked out really well for me. Uh, Glowy Lotion, again from She Glam. And this stuff is wonderful. It just needs a better pump. <laughs> um, but like I said, love this stuff. It's very, very glowy. If you need to glow into the next galaxy, as far as a hand lotion or a lotion on your decolletage, uh, this one will go ahead and get you glowing to the next universe. So, um, and you can't beat the price. Again, She Glam is affordable. It's available on the Sheen website, and there are just some products that are majorly wonderful from that group. And um, let's see, as far as what else I have, um, I think probably the next thicket sticker for the eyebrows would have to be my um, pick for this year because it's a combination. It gives you color and hold. And for my eyebrows, it works great. And so it was a really good find for me. It also lasts a long time. Mascara. Um, I would have to say that I've been mixing these two mascaras and that they've been working really well for me. The Sky High by Maybelline and the uh, Lash Princess Curl and Volume. These two have been uh, what I've mixed together mostly this year and I've really liked. Um, as far as going ahead and doing a cream blush, um, probably high end, I would say the LYS a little bit. Um, and this is part of that three-pack holiday set that I just thought was wonderful. Um, this one is actually in power, which I really like. And then um, the ColourPop, here, let's see, the ColourPop Sh Super Shock Cheeks. I think that they are just amazing cream blush, and so they're actually my favorite as well. This is Sounds Great by Colourpop. And then as far as a new product this year, um, there were two new products by Colourpop that I just thought were amazing and wonderful, and I hope that they keep them going for a long time. And that's going to be the oil, um, the lip oil and also the lip stain. And I think that they did these two amazingly well, and they worked out really well for me. So, um, yeah, these are definitely going to be my favorites for this year. And as far as doing complexion and everything other than eyeshadow, I think we've just about gotten it all done in one video, which is really good. Eyeshadow video will be following, but not right now. And um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I've enjoyed and loved trying out a whole bunch of new products this year. And so um, thank you. Have a great day, okay? Bye.